Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. If this is your first time around, a warm welcome to you man. <laughs> Great to have you and uh, yeah, just remember to like and subscribe. Um, the like not so much of a fuss but the subscribe definitely. I do really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Also do remember to share and also have a look at my um, channel. I've got over 500 videos now on, on map making. So whatever your heart's content or desire is, I definitely have a video for that <laughs> re re regarding the, um, the, the, the map making scene, you know, awesome. Great guys, so today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract a map or a part of a map out of DLC, the legal way. <laughs> You know, you get guys, uh, I don't have the type of tools to open or crack a DLC, but uh, I'm not really into that type of things. I'm into making maps and I want to show you how to make a free map from from the, the latest DLC. Um, obviously, you need to have the DLC, uh, but you can't you can't get the maps out of the DLC because they are encrypted. If you go into your into your farming simulator 22 um, um, what do you call it directory and you see the pdlc folder these are all the dlcs and um they are encrypted you can't open them you can't extract nothing from them and this big one here the forestry pack uh, is the is the latest one and that's the one with the nice new map on it you know so i'm going to show you how to get a part of that map out and uh, yeah just have fun with it you know so it's a fun video guys and a little bit of a of a nice uh, journey towards uh, something nice and new so we're going to open the map first silver run forest it's the name of the map i'm glad i can actually put this volume down a little bit we've got a nice thunderstorm brewing here in the back it's raining a bit in the background so if you do hear that you know just excuse that there's nothing i can do about that <laughs> i live in africa you know so we get a lot of thunderstorms in the afternoon or the late afternoon it's about just over five o'clock in the afternoon now so that's normally the time that we uh, we have some nice rain you know <laughs> after a hot summer day uh, and it's summer year by us now like like uh, almost um, I will I won't say in the middle of summer but yeah it's the start of summer so uh, December January and February is our summer months so yeah of which February normally is the the hottest you know so yeah we can't complain <laughs> okay excellent guys so here we are in the map and all you need to do is just save the map to get a to get a nice um what do you call it i just want to go and save it save it there save the game not the map or save the game save the map it's the same thing all right i hope it's saved now i just want to have a check yeah save game slot one so we're going to go out so that's all we need to do to get the save game or, or the, the information out of the map that we can extract you know so totally legal nothing wrong with that you can make yourself a free nice looking map and i'm going to show you how to do it now you're going to head over there to farmer bob's website if you don't know where that is i'm going to show you quick um, you're going to type in here at youtube and you go in here and you search a farmer like that and then a b and a zero not a o a zero and a b and then you go like that and then you should get farmer bob this is my channel all right so when you see my channel all the others uh, doesn't really matter on youtube i know there's a few farmer bobs but there's only one of me <laughs> which is good <laughs> uh, i'm so grateful anyways um so once you hear it at my at my uh, channel you can open any of my maps um or videos not maps and then once you've got it open go in here to the uh, show more I always miss that I don't know why they make it so difficult to find um, show more show more I don't see the show more this time it should uh, here we go show more <laughs> and all the links is here so you can go go to download your my content click on that and you'll go to my website and in here at my website under downloads there's fs19 fs22 downloads so we go into fs22 for now and find yourself a blank map now the uh, silver run forest is a two times map so go to my two times down uh, blank map um, where is it that's a 16 times have i not got the two times up here uh, yes there it is two, 
two, ki two kilometer by two kilometer. So you download that and put it in. Um, it's going to uh, take you to uh, um, what is the thing now called Nexus Mods. You know, if you don't have an account there, please just subscribe or not subscribe. Just uh, register your email there to get the username and password. And then you can download all my stuff for free. Uh, they're not going to ask you money. And I promise you, you won't you won't see any uh, spam mail or any of that kind of stuff. It's a very professional website. Uh, they're not these fly-by-night guys with 10,000 ads and all kinds of things. You might see an advert. I'm not too sure. I've got an ad blocker running, so I, I don't see that there's any pop-ups or anything because it, it would have showed it there, you know. So don't be scared to create yourself an account. And then all you need to do to download, click on the manual here because it's manual download and then go slow download. This gives you a 3 meg download. It's very quick. It doesn't matter if it's, um, it, they call it slow. 3 meg is perfectly fine. You just make yourself a cup of coffee. And I can promise you before you've made the coffee, the map is downloaded. All right. So then you just uh, drop that, unzip the map into your mods folder. Don't just drop the zip file in there because otherwise you're going to definitely have problems. All right. Now that you have the, the, the map in your mods folder, I just want to get up to speed. I'm not going to download it now, obviously. So I'm just going to grab it because uh, I've got it here. Start map, copy into my mods folder like so. Is it now not pasting? Now what's it doing now? I've just made made some uh, mistakes just now it's supposed to grab this copy it go into mods and paste it i don't know what's so difficult <laughs> anyways i'm having some nice water at the background so if you hear me slip it's totally fine guys great okay so here we go now oh, that is definitely wrong um yeah this is now what i've messed up I've messed up my mess, messing up my messing up. <laughs> okay, here we go. So you've got the start map in there. Open it up into there where your i3D is. And then in a new window, you can um, open up. Let me just go in here in a new window. You can open up your Farming Simulator 22 directory. It's normally in documents, my game's Farming Simulator 22. <coughs> sorry for that and then in there find the save game slot that you've used I've used number one and now guys all you need to do is grab all the GDM files that one this one this one this one this one and some of them is not really uh, necessary but I'm going to show you um, the the weeds yeah stones and weeds doesn't you don't really need those because um, that should be zero anyway I'm just going to copy them anyway and then just drop them on the data so we've got five in there I'm going to copy them in there replace all five that's good it shows that there were five in there that needs needs to be there and then guys the info layers <coughs> the info la layers I'm not going to need any of those but what we do want is the terrain height map png so you're going to copy that over and drop that into the data as well like that and then this three files you'll see is this three files here so all you need to do is grab this three uh sorry uh, yeah it's three it's the the terrain height the ter terrain lod and the terrain n map so there they are the end map the lod and the occluder cache that's also there sorry there are four files now there's three one two three and we need one two three uh, so it's the occluders the end map and the lod yeah sorry it is only three man i'm making myself i'm confusing myself here <laughs> so just grab that three also copy them in here and then I'm just going to hit F5 um, so it will rearrange. And then what I want to do then is grab one at a time. So map I3D LOD type cache. I'm going to click it twice so it can select. So I copy everything in there. Go Control C and then click on it again. Press delete to delete the file. And then we're going to go here to this cache. 
click on it twice, select everything, Control and V, so we overwrite it, just like that. Okay, so that's the one done, and now we just need to do the second one, the in map cache. Uh, grab that, Control C, click it again, delete it, and then the in map cache in here. Click that, select all, Control V, like so, done. And then the last one is that one, the occluder cache. So we're going to do the same drill with it, copy it, select it, and delete like so and then lastly just select it all like that control v and there it is so all three of those are done and now what you need to do is go into um, the data folder and you find your file that you copied over the terrain height map but just find the map them first there should be a file called map them there it is map them so we're going to do the same with that. Click on it until it's blue. Control C to copy this to map them. And then click something else. Click that one again. Delete the map them. And then we're going to go here to the terrain mm, height map. Control and V just like that. So we basically just overwrite the map them with that map them. Great. Now guys, unfortunately the weight files is not in the save game I, I've got no idea where these guys hide their weight files um, in the save game I, I've, I don't know where it is because because the weight files is what tells your ground textures the, it tells the game or, or the map uh, where the ground text actually it works via the i3d but the i3d extracts the the um the ground textures from the weight files you know so yeah i don't know how where it is but the the weight files we can't unfortunately the ground textures not um and then the last thing guys was um what was the other thing i wanted to do before we get cracking in with that so we've got that we've got this three We've got the height data, that's right. What am I missing? I'm just thinking now, what am I missing? Yeah, I think that's the whole lot. We have put everything in place. Um, and now all we need to do is open the R3D and have a look at what it looks like. And you should, should have yourself a free map. And there it is. Look at that. Terrain detail. Everything is done. Uh, obviously, it's blank canvas, but the roads is done for you. Uh, the, the foliage is done. All the foliage is in. That is major work already done. And you can have, um, have some nice... Um, the fields is done. The fields is definitely planted, but you can um, you can obviously you don't have a field directory. And remember now, the stuff in here is not the maps. This maps things. This is the Alpine map. Um, this is start map map Alpine. This is the Alpine map stuff. So in here, you only have one field, so you're gonna have to just fix your fields, you know. And you're gonna have to fix your trees, and you're gonna have to fix your bridges and, and and water planes and those kind of things but at least like at least 30 or 40 hours of work has been done for you maybe 50 hours I, I, I would expect to take a terrain up to this type of detail you know um, a lot of work has been done for you automatically I'm already building a nice map out of this it's called um, uh, Lost Valley uh, is it now Lost Valley can't remember now even my own map it's a new map that i'm busy playing with it's in here under my my mods working yeah lost valley so i'm i'm busy uh fiddling around with this idea and uh, i just thought for fun i'll show you guys what i'm doing and how to do it um, so i'm busy just making the roads nice putting down textures as you can see all the textures is ground so you will like now to put the cliffs in here no, uh, now obviously there would have been rocks um, on these cliffs but uh, at the moment there's nothing but what I know now normally do is I'll just grab a ground texture or a rock texture in here uh, I wonder if there is anything in this map I think um, have I get, got any 
Mountain Rock. Yeah, there's only one, so it's Mountain Rock to the rescue. <laughs> so I'll just now paint this with Mountain Rock, you know. And then um, once it's all nice and looking great, you can uh, just want to do it nicely like that. Get a bit of more texture on it like that. So yeah, it, it's going to look better. It, uh, and obviously you're going to have to take some of that stuff off the foliage and that simply just by removing the foliage um, like this terrain detail deco foliage all that will be removing the stuff off the rocks yeah I, I know for a fact they definitely had cliffs and stuff up there which is placeables um, which you obviously can't get out of the DLC but anyway I thought uh, for fun I will show you how to do that and now you've got a free map that you can just fiddle around with like I do if, if you like my like map making <laughs> and obviously this has got no um, terrain texture or, or, or distance stuff like mountains or what but I think if you grab the um, maybe the um, the Alpine map will be too steep but I will definitely I uh, think that the French map might fit in here nicely the the distance stuff for the French map you can even try I know that the US map is very flat you know so I don't think that will work but the the, the um, um, French map might do a trick here but anyway guys uh, yeah I thought it would be fun to show you around just want to see what's in the back there and no, it's just the uh, things I had a look there Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope it's been insightful and fun to play around with. Oh, yes, yeah. Just one thing. Uh, obviously, now you would rename your map. Before we go, um, you would go into your map things here at Start Map and do your icons. Uh, that was the other thing I wanted to show you is if you go now into the save game, um, Farming simulator save game. Just want to have a look. Oh yeah, they didn't have an overview. So unfortunately, even the overview is going to be a, an issue. You can't extract that because you can't see the game di or the map directory, unfortunately. But anyways, we we saved a lot of time. So I mean, it's simple and easy and quick to make an overview. And there goes our power with the storm. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a very nice. Um, a backup system and and uh, inverter system now with huge batteries so i can carry on working as if nothing happened <laughs> great stuff anyway guys thank you so so much for watching always great to share with you guys thanks for all my patrons and friends you guys are awesome i'll catch you on the next one guys take care cheers